will forget it, and I will become upset about it, and then we'll move on. Under exponents, children. And the book calls this the law of exponents for negative exponents. The law of exponents for negative exponents. First of all, let me preface this by saying that negative exponents are bad. Negative exponents are not your friends. Are not good. You never want to deal with negative exponents. So the quicker you can turn them to positive exponents, the better. And what the book says quite clearly or not clearly, depending on it. It gives it like this, the generic thing. If I have x to the negative n power, does anybody know what that would, how I would simplify that to make x to the positive n power? Ryan says... I can move x to the n power. No, but you bring up another point here. Write this down in huge, ginormous letters. A negative exponent has... In capital letters, nothing to do with making the problem negative. Exclamation point. In other words, just because you see a negative exponent there, kids, do not think that that makes the problem negative, because it does not. Matter of fact, the answer to this is actually positive. The answer to this, if I gave you 5 to the negative 2 power, the answer to that is positive something. Okay. A negative exponent has nothing to do, it's not like you're multiplying two negatives times themselves. It's not the number that's negative, it's the exponent that's negative. And then you it. Now, let me go back to this one. To make, I, I'm sure we talked about this before, I thought we did, maybe this was another class. To make any exponent its opposite, which is what I want to do, all I have to do is take it from the top of the fraction and move it to the bottom of the fraction. So to make this negative n a positive n, I put it on the bottom with its base. I move this whole thing, it started out on top of this fraction, and I put it on the bottom. Okay, This is the generic law for exponents. Putting it into practice here, then, 5 to the negative 2 power is the same exact thing as 1 over 5 to the positive 2 power, which is 1 25th. Conversely, and whatever, if I have 1 over 3 to the negative 3rd power, Guess what that will be? Okay, I move this to the top of the fraction, it becomes 3 to the positive third power. And what is 3 cubed? 3 to the third power is Brooke? 27. That's actually the answer to that. Which looks goofy because how can 1 over 3 to the negative third power equal 27? It just does. And I can tell you, you'll forget this. I have eighth graders who've been doing it for two years, and they still don't quite get it. So let's look at a whole bunch of examples here. Um, oh, yeah. 3 squared times 3 to the negative 2 power. 3 squared times 3 to the negative 2 power. Again, negative exponents are, are not your friends, so the first thing you go and do is make this positive. How do I make 3 to the negative 2 power positive? I, Logan? Go ahead. It's 1 over 3 squared. It's 1 over 3 squared. 
and 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9, thank you, 3 times 3. 3 squared is 9. What's 9 times 1 ninth? Caleb? 1. Now let me ask you a question. Do you remember this? If I have x squared times x to the third power, what is that? Anybody know? Have not ever done this? Andrew Stuford says x to, the fifth part. x to the fifth power, which goes back to another law of exponents. When you multiply the same bases together, what do you do with their exponents? Add them. Well, look at this. Here I had the same bases. When I add their exponents together, what do I get? What is 2 plus or minus 2? And anything to the 0 power is 1. So if you saw this, children, 10 to the third power times 10 to the negative fifth power times 10 to the eighth power, you don't really, really want to do all this out. In other words, make this 1,000, make this, what would it be, 0. 0.000 whatever, and then make this one with eight zeros after it. What do you want to do? You want to add the exponents together. What do I get if I add 3 plus a negative 5 plus 8? David? Yeah, 3 plus 8 is 11 minus 5 is 6. 10 to the 6th power, which is a million, would be much, much quicker and simpler to do than do all that kind of value of kind of stuff like that. There. Um, now, how about this? What about... We've talked about this before. So if I have this, 10 to the 8th power over 10 to the 4th power, what does that equal? Brooke? How do you know that? Because another law of exponents is... Right. When you divide with bases that have exponents, you subtract them. Multiply, you add, divide, you subtract them. So Brooke was right in this, but here's where you need to be careful. What if it was this? 10 to the 8th power over 10 to the negative 2 power. Here's where we start thinking upper-level mathematics. Remember, it's subtraction, but it's 8 minus a negative 2. 8 minus a negative 2 is actually, Ryan? 10 to the 10th power. power. Because when you subtract a negative number, 8 minus a negative 2, two negatives next to each other make it positive 2, and you get 10 to the 10th power. It wouldn't matter if it, or you could do the same thing with letters. If it was b to the negative fifth power over b to the negative eighth power, what, ladies and gentlemen, do you think I would get? Using the same rule, the rule of subtraction, I'm going to subtract negative eight from negative five. What is negative five minus negative eight? Caleb? B to the third power. B to the third power, because the two negatives together give you a positive 8. Positive 8 and negative 5 is B to the third power. Just imagine the kind of fun that we can have in math. Oh, boy. Well, here's one from the book. Let's see if we can figure it out. Tell me this the right answer this. What is 2 to the negative third power, and then what's negative 2 to the third power? 2 to the negative third power, and negative 2 to the third power. What do I get if I simplify this? Somebody, please, please, please. Brooke Collins says six. it is not six. How did we give? How did that two to the third power is six? So two to the negative third power certainly can't be six. Maggie, it is not. Did you say one fourth? It is not one fourth. Bella Nuzzo. 
It is 1 eighth, because remember to make this positive, you put it under 1. It becomes 2 to the third power, 1 over 2 to the third power. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 1 eighth is the correct answer. What's the answer to this? Negative 2 to the third power is? Don't be afraid to be in the wrong I think they got it. Come on, somebody. Take, take a giant leap of faith. David says? 8. It is not 8. Plan? Negative. Negative 8. Because what's, what is it? It's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Three negatives times themselves give you a negative. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Now, just to mess with you, what's this? Negative 2 to the third power. Again, the difference is one's in parentheses, one's not. Oh, the trickery. Alex, it is not 8. Maggie, it is negative 8. Why? Because you're... The negative sign is, has nothing to do with this because it's not the front seat. It just stays. You're multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 and getting 8. It's a negative 8. Now that changes when it's like this, though. How about this? 2, uh, two negative 2 to the 4th power and negative 2 to the 4th power. What are the answers to those? Answer the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be afraid. And is your friend. Cameron, the first one is negative 16. Negative 16 is correct. The answer to the second one, Taylor, is incorrect. Yeah, now I read it. Close it down. Huh, Dr. Ron? Remember, this one is positive 16 because the parentheses tell you that you have to take negative 2, the whole thing, to the times itself four times. And an even number of negatives makes the answer positive. This one here, the only thing that got to the fourth power was the 2. The negative was out there by itself. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 16. It didn't make a difference on the last one because of what reason? An odd number of negatives always make it negative, so it didn't matter on that one. But on an even number, it's going to matter. Gosh, that's exciting. Now take out a blank piece of paper for scientific notation. Yeah, scientific notation. I don't remember if we talked about this or not, but we did 